on behalf of the government of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and that of my own, I would like to welcome all of you to Addis Ababa, your second home. Ethiopia is honored to host the African Youth Leaders Summit. We are pleased to be joined by several African youth leaders from across the continent in this August gathering. We are also happy to witness the presence of former African heads of state and government in this summit who will share with us their immense wealth of experience and wisdom in Pan-African leadership. Therefore, this occasion is designed to bridge our past experience with our future leaders and to keep Pan-Africanism high on our agenda. Building upon this vision of our African founding fathers, this summit envisions to become an important continental platform to acquaint the youth across our continent with the idols of Pan-African leadership, a concept that has a consequential value in our continent today. Today, Africa is faced with multifaceted socio-economic, political, and security challenges. Amongst many others, poverty, poor governance, and corrupt institutions continue to challenge the continent in every insidious manner. It is, therefore, high time that we work to address these challenges rigorously. 70% of Africa's population is below the age of 30. This makes our continent the youngest in the world. To capitalize our, our position, on our position, we need to create strategic investments in education, health, energy, economic reforms, and good governance. Empowering and educating our youth will allow us to challenge the existing status, the existing status quo, and address the dangerous problems that face our continent. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the African Union needs to be commended for the several youth development policies and programs it has established at a continental level. The African Youth Charter, the Youth Decade Plan of Action, and the Malabo Decision on Youth Empowerment are all being implemented through Agenda 2063 programs. The successful realization of these programs need to be our collective utmost priority. As far as CTP is concerned, its national use policy recognizes the potential and actual contribution of the use in the process of nation building. Ensuring greater participation of use in leadership and decision making positions holds central place in Ethiopia's national 10 years development plan. The Ethiopian government recognizes that any effort to ensure peaceful coexistence, inclusive, economic development and national unity has to be youth-centered. That is why we have embarked on mobilizing youth volunteerism under the National Youth Voluntary Service Program, which has been under implementation, of, implementation for some time. In the past three months alone, we witnessed the participation of more than 19 million youth under this program with an estimated socioeconomic benefit to over 49 million people. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this summit gives us the opportunity to hold important discussion and share experience. Seizing this opportunity, I would thus, thus like to talk to you about Ethiopia's Green Legacy Initiative an initiative launched in 2019 with an aim to combat the adverse effect of climate change. With the help of over 20 million people, mostly comprised of the youth, around 25 billion seedlings have been planted across the country in a span of four years. Moreover, 
close to 800,000 permanent and temporary jobs were created. Given this productive outcome, given its productive outcome, we believe it's appropriate and privilege for us to share the Green Legacy Initiative with all of you at this summit. We are certain that the experience we share in the spirit of brotherhood will equip all of you use with the necessary information to translate this initiative in your own home countries. At last, let me underscore that African youth need to play a vital role in shaping Africa's future. They should also know that they have a great responsibility to secure the interest of our continent in the years to come. And I have no doubt that is achievable. As all our deliberations and activities are defined by the spirit of Pan-Africanism and African fraternity, I'm certain that this summit will yield positive results. I thank you.